must have snuck in after I fell asleep. Pardon me, sir. Come to stare at the fool, have you? There's poor Egg Haggerty, robbed by his own sister. Ah, uh, she's robbed almost everyone now. So, who's the fool? I, I, I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Then you're the only one who doesn't know about Catherine running off with that thief, Victor Rookwood and his lot. Good riddance, I said. Never thought she'd return a steal from me. But us. But I just know it was her. I want her caught and sent to Azkaban for stealing a prize family heirloom. Sister or no. What exactly was the family heirloom that the thief stole? A necklace. Belonged to the first of the Haggerty women. Hundreds of years old. So much history. She'll likely pawn it. Why would Katrin come back to rob the Hamlet if she'd already left? Do I look like a criminal to you? How should I know? She always despised this place, resented having to grow up here. Perhaps she did it to spite us. Are you sure Katrin is the culprit? It could be anyone. Thanks to that Rookwood louse, we're inundated with all manner of criminal. I wanted to believe it was any one of them except Katrin. But she was the only one who knew where the heirloom was hidden, and she knew precisely which homes to rob. I could keep an eye out for the thief, sir. You? Ugh. Nothing to be done by the likes of us. This is a job for the fine officer singer, or some such authority. Besides, the thief, my sister, only strikes at night. Coward. Long past your bedtime. What do you have for sale? I'd keep an eye on your belongings if I were you. Crattering will steal the eyebrows off your face, she will. Now that it's night, I ought to look into this thievery business for Mr. Haggerty. A pile of gold. I must be on the right track. It looks as if the thief took more than they could carry. Revelio. would lead someone to treasure. More gold. I must be getting closer. Revelio. Rebellion.
Revelio. Revelio. A <laughs> niffler. It wasn't capturing Haggerty after all. Heirloom. Revelio. Rebellion. Levioso. Defender. Levioso. I wonder how Mr. Haggerty will take this news. His sister wasn't the thief and his heirloom's coming home. Quite stately in its time. Looked rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. I have some good news, Mr. Haggerty. I unmasked your thief. Nothing to unmask, was there? We all know that the thief was my sister, Catherine. Actually, sir, the thief was a niffler. A, a, a what? You know, small, furry, pilfering. I followed it to its lair. Catelyn was the only one who knew how to get into our homes, where to find our treasures. But I suppose... mangy little blighter. Well, if you found the niffler's lair, as you say, you must have found my heirloom. As a matter of fact, I did. 
Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. Catherine's a disappointment for certain, but I never wanted to believe she was behind this. Now, thanks to you, I won't have to. What a strange world we live in. Suppose they can't send a Niffler to Azkaban. At least I got my heirloom back. He's likely studied here. how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. For a bit of dying, are we? I know I might try when I see one.
Lumos. Confringo. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Incendio. Lumos. Revelio. Rebellion. Professor Fate could have seen that. Super 
in London. Revelio. Revelio. rather personal matter. The Demikai statues and the moons contained therein were placed as they were for good reason. You should not meddle in the personal affairs of others. I don't think Mr. Pemberton meant to use his own stationery. He knows something about those Demigai's moons. He's in Hogsmeade, apparently. Perhaps I shall pay him a visit. Those statues took time and effort. Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demigod statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? They're quite clever. Oh, thank you. A lot of craftsmanship and care went into them. Down, I assume. So you did create them? I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student, too cowardly to do it himself, <laughs> hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. 
gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly until you started clearing them out. It sounds as if Mr. Moon deserved what he got, but perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demiguy statues. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied, Piers Pemberton. Oh, I might have known. Pigtails Piers. I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does. Oh, we had such flowing locks. Oh, we used to laugh about them. <laughs> I laughed the hardest of all. Clever, clever man. Hmm. I'd no idea he was so devious. <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm going to go and pay a visit to my old friend. <laughs>